Okay everyone, welcome back to Foxtech and in this video we're diving into a topic that is pretty crucial for your magic mouse and for all the users and that is the battery life. If you have ever wondered how long the battery in the magic mouse lasts, you are in the right place and I've been using the magic mouse for years so I'm going to give you a detailed breakdown based on my experience. First, it's important to distinguish between the Magic Mouse first and second generation. The first gen uses physical AA batteries. The lifespan of these batteries can vary significantly depending on the type and quality of the batteries you use. If you opt for rechargeable AA batteries, be aware that they can degrade over time, leading to shorter usage periods between charges. On the other hand, the second generation Magic Mouse comes with a built-in non-user replaceable battery. This model is generally more reliable in terms of battery life. You charge it through a lightning port similarly to how you'd charge your AirPods or iPhone. Now you might be wondering about the actual numbers. How long does the Magic Mouse battery last? Now this can vary based on how you use it, but for instance, if you make a habit of turning off the mouse after each use, of course, using the back side of them, if you just turn it off all the time, it can significantly extend the battery life. Without this precaution, the Bluetooth connection remains active, draining the battery faster. But from my personal experience, if you turn it off after each use, it can last up to about two months on a single charge. This might seem lengthy, but it's essential to consider how usage patterns and uh, habits can impact the battery life. Everyone uses their mouse differently, so your mileage might vary, right? So yeah, it really depends on what you do with the computer, if you use it a lot, how many hours during the day, but you know, I'm giving you my experience and my numbers. For those who use the Magic Mouse with the iPad, you have the convenient option of setting up a battery widget that displays the charge level. On the Mac, you can easily check the status of the battery by going to the settings and navigating to the Bluetooth section where the charge level will be displayed. Despite the long-lasting battery, there will come a time when you need to recharge it, of course. I mean, believe it or not, it's gonna be a, a thing you gotta do, but from my perspective, it's best to charge it overnight every once in a while even if you receive a low battery warning, you can still use the mouse for a couple of days before it completely runs empty. So yeah, it's not like an iPhone where a low battery pop-up means you need to charge it within a few hours. With the Magic Mouse, you've got some time. So yeah, this is my experience. It might vary from person to person, of course, but I'm giving you my numbers. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later in the next one.